Hi guys, so slightly different video today. I've been had delivery, which I've been waiting for for a few days, and I've been really patient about opening this up. It's actually pretty well sealed. Okay, so what I've got in the box here is something that I've not purchased before. Okay. So, pretty well packaged. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so. So this isn't a brand new kit, this is a used one that I've gotten off eBay. And it's come with lots of extras, so I'm pretty excited to see what, what it's got in the box. Okay, so let's just move things around a little bit. So what we have here is a Geo Racing GLA version 2. Okay. Let's open it up. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so this car has already been assembled by somebody else. And the reason why I've, I always, I nearly always buy a car that I have to assemble myself. It's the way I prefer to, I enjoy building them, but in moments I'm particularly busy and I haven't got time. And I've been dying to run one of these and see how it compares to the other cars that we've got. So this one has the Lexan shell, but I'll be changing that for the Mini Z shells. And it's already been assembled. And I can already tell by looking at it that it's pretty highly specced. That's a censored speed controller and X power the hubs have been upgraded metal hubs shocks have been upgraded wow that feels pretty smooth it's got a transponder installed I'm not sure if this is going to be compatible with the uh, transponder that I've got with the easy lap system but I'll find out soon enough this looks like it's been put together really well okay that's an upgraded chassis plate as well, so. Okay, I do believe that's a Sanwa receiver, which I have not got a transmitter for, but I do have a similar sized uh, trans receiver compatible with my EX6 that I can switch over to use there. Now I'm having a look at this already and I can see it hasn't got the screw holes for the Mini Z body mounts on here, so. We'll have a look and see whether I need to order some parts for this or we I'll run it as is though just to see how fast it is. I'm even going to run it with these grip tires on, but I'll probably have to do it somewhere with a lot more space. It'll be too fast for our track. And then obviously I'm gonna do the sacrilege of converting it to a drift tire setup. Let's see what else is in the box, shall we? Let's miss that. Let's see what else we got. Okay, so we've got a spare shell. So I think these are all 98 millimeter shells, and we've got one that's been not painted yet. Brilliant. Oh, excellent. I'll have a bit of fun with that. Get some like some colours. Okay, so I'm assuming these are the extras that were listed. Okay, well straight away. Look at that. That's very nice, it's the original chassis plate, which has got the mounts. Very thoughtful of the person who's selling this to be included. Oh, that's very nice, okay. Let's have a look through the box, let's see what's in there. So, 
Okay, this is for the rear towing and their metal as well, alloy, brilliant. Let's see what else is in there. I think those are all the original hubs and wishbones. Okay, so I'm guessing, all oh right, these rear links have been upgraded as well. So they're adjustable. For the camber, what else can I see in there? All right, there's lots of parts in there. So there's plenty of spares. Brilliant, okay. Spare servo horns. Motor pinions. Okay, spare servo horn in there as well. Tools, excellent. Lots of shocks and springs. Well, they'll be useful in my other cars as well. This has been very neatly packaged, whoever's I'll have a quick look at the eBay name and see who this was who sold this to me. It's brilliantly been looked after and packaged for me. So here we've got a spare servo, which looks lovely. And there's the body mounts for the Mini Z mount. Brilliant. Okay, so this has really been well looked after. I think I've got a really good deal here. So it said four batteries as well. Let's have a look. So I use these already, the Nanotech. I do normally have Velcro on them as well, that's brilliant. And these are GR Racing ones, which look nice. And they've got the mini plugs on, which are compatible with the Atomic Speedo, that's brilliant. Great. So what else have we got? Spare battery mount. What's this in here? Looks like another servo horn, not even opened. Beautiful, that's great. Okay, these are GLA ball cup sets, spares, excellent. GLA gear pinion, another gear pinion set, brilliant. Got so many spares with this, this is so good. Okay, we've got shims labelled. Wonderful, that is great. Spare tyres and wheels. Look at that, he's even labelled the offset on each one, that's brilliant. Okay, one, two, even more. Oh, this is wonderful. Right, I should have to email this gentleman and say thank you for a spare motor. I mean, a lot of this was listed. That's a Geo Racing 5000 KV, brilliant. Excellent. It's got lovely plugs all wired and ready. Nice, okay. And there's still more. More tyres. I won't get to use the tyres that much on our track, but I am going to do a... I've got a car park in mind with a smooth surface where I can test the top speed of these. More tyres. Brilliant. Tyre tape. Wow, what a buy. This is great. Okay, I think these are setup tools. Nice. Excellent, okay, I'm looking forward to using those. I mean, this is a beautifully looked after set. Great. And we've got grease as well, shock grease and diff grease. Brilliant. Wow, I am super hyped for this car, this is so good. Well, I'm not even sure what that is, I'll have to look that up. More tyres and spare server horns. Brilliant. Okay, so I am very excited about running this car. So I'm going to run it as is first. I'll set it up and we'll see. And these are loose diffs, so we may have to stiffen those up for to get a bit more drift out of them. But I'm interested to see what the top speed is. I mean, that servo looks beautiful. Wow. This is a good kit. So, I've been meaning to get one of these GLAs, and this came up on eBay and I couldn't resist. Excellent.